Good job. Feather Ship of the Wing here. Today, I will be showing you how I make bird chop with the help of my boyfriend, Tucker. We went to the store to pick up some ingredients I still needed. If you're curious, this ends up being $30 to $40 each time, especially if you pick a cheap store. This is about as much as dog or cat food would cost per month, so it's very affordable. Here are the ingredients for this month's bird chop. Raw quick oats, mixed frozen fruit, baby spinach, frozen berry medley, frozen corn, frozen sweet peas, quinoa, lentils, broccoli, red, orange, and green bell peppers, jalapeno, zucchini and yellow squash, pre-cooked pie pumpkin, parsnip, cucumber, and some carrot, but we forgot to include it in the shot. Let's get started. Make sure to wash all of your veggies. You can hand scrub them like I am doing, or you can use a vegetable scrubber. Get in all those cracks and crevices. Broccoli has a lot of these, so make sure you pry apart the florets to get it all washed. Get some water in through the bottom too. Now we are going to cook the appropriate ingredients, starting with quinoa. I am cooking half a cup dry, then adding one cup of water to boil on low until it evaporates away. I am also cooking half a cup of lentils dry. Again, adding a cup of water to pressure cook them for 15 minutes in the Instant Pot. That's coming along beautifully. Moving on to food processing. I will show you how to do a couple before speeding up the video. You'll need to cut the veggies into a size the food processor can handle. I find that coin-sized pieces or smaller is good. You want to pulse your pieces until they end up pretty small, as if they were minced. This is so birds don't pick out only their favorite pieces and get the benefit of all the ingredients. For broccoli, again, you will want it to be smaller for the food processor. This prevents the chunkier bits from floating to the top and avoiding the blades as you pulse.
Look at the cute mini broccolis. For ingredients that will not blend as well in the food processor, I recommend a mandolin. This one was around $45 and works great. It makes the cutting time fly. Once the veggie gets too close to the blades to be safe, then cut the rest by hand. Again, just showing a couple of veggies before speeding things up. The spinach is the only thing I cut entirely by hand because neither tool works for it well. Start by bunching it up into a cuttable wad and start slicing. Then go over it again in a rocking motion to cut even smaller. A curved knife is useful for this. Showing that rocking motion without my hand in the way, then putting it together. This ends up pretty close to minced as well. You can use either tool for what works best for each ingredient. We have this process down to an hour with all the tools and two sets of hands. It used to take two or three hours. Here's the rest sped up for you all. Now we add all the stuff to a huge bowl and mix it up. Adding more oats to absorb moisture. This helps it stick less when frozen. We fill snack bags until the chop is all gone, leaving a little space at the top to seal. Bags and bags and bags, we are going to freeze them all so they last. I only need to thaw one bag per day with four small birds. That's all. Have a great day!